How do couples or families know if mediation is appropriate mm. for them? Yeah, so this feeds back to my answer to the previous question. And number one is, is ensuring they have the correct information. And I would always be of the view that that information ideally should come from a mediator or at the very least somebody who works, say, as an administrator or, or intake officer in a family mediation service so that they're really clear on what the process can and cannot do, what it can achieve and how it works. So informed decision making is really the key there. Some um, services now, I know this happens in the Netherlands, for example, will also provide couples with a sort of a self-check questionnaire beforehand that they will fill out to assess their own personal readiness for mediation, which will ask questions around um, where parties are at emotionally, how they feel about even being in the same room as their former partner and working together with their former partner whether um, they have all the financial information they need, whether they have any conception of what the options might bar be for the future. So that's a really useful tool um, to in order to give parties information, but then the opportunity to reflect on, is this process correct for me? A challenge, of course, can come about where, as is the case in many jurisdictions and is being envisaged here in Ireland, Parties might be encouraged or pushed, if you like, by either government agencies or the court or indeed by financial necessity to consider mediation when maybe it isn't um, the appropriate process for them. And one final aspect to that that is important as well is the amount of public resources that are gradually building out there on information to mediation and why we all as mediators should, should be engaging in a public dialogue around what services we provide. Um, a great initiative here, um, and if you like, I can give you the links so our viewers can have a look, was a project which was formulated by the court service here that administers the courts in uh, cooperation with the Office of the Ombudsman for Children, which produced two short information videos, one for parents and one for older children on what the options are when couples are separating and showed them how the court process works, what courtrooms look like, how mediation works, what say children, for example, can have in mediation. And these are really super resources because they explain the options to parties and uh, what their choices might be in this kind of a situation.